Across the state of Oregon, land that was once used for grass seed, Christmas trees, or pasture is rapidly being planted to wine grapes. Over the past decade, acreage planted to wine grapes has more than doubled, with over 1,500 acres of new plantings every year since 2006. New plantings of wine grapes demand very different management than established vineyards. Alleyway cover crops, in other words the vegetation growing between the rows as seen here, have been used to fulfill many management goals including soil building, reduced erosion, improved water quality, increased beneficial insects, improved labor traffic, and increased nutrient availability to vines. However, the current standard management of young vineyards dictates that alleyways be kept free of vegetation with the intent of limiting competition for water and nutrients. There are many creative and effective management regimes for cover crops that have yet to be explored in a controlled manner. Viticulture researchers at Oregon State University have begun to evaluate several management strategies to determine if cover crops can meet vineyard management goals while enhancing the establishment of young vines. The multi-year project is being conducted in the central Willamette Valley in a new planting in Olson family vineyards. A green manure cover crop of crimson clover and cereal rye was planted in fall of 2008 and managed according to five different treatments in May 2009. What is considered the control treatment is an alleyway that was not planted to rye and clover and was sprayed with glyphosate in the winter. The four other treatments focus on evaluating the four C's of vineyard cover crops. Competition with vines, contribution of nutrients, conservation of water, and control of weeds. The first management treatment represents growing a cover crop and incorporating the biomass, or total growth, in the alleyway. The second treatment will remove that biomass and when compared to the first treatment will shed light on the controversy of whether cover crops actually compete with young vines. The final two treatments take management a step further to evaluate how a mulched cover crop may contribute nutrition, conserve moisture, and control weeds. In the industry this practice is commonly known as mow and blow and may be used in a wide array of cropping systems. One of the mulching treatments uses a standardized density of cover crop mulch at 1 kilogram per square meter, which is roughly equivalent to the amount of biomass generated by an adjacent alleyway. The second mulching treatment uses three times this density at 3 kilograms per square meter, which means supplemental mulch must be brought in from a bank of cover crop elsewhere on site. The mulches will be left on the surface throughout the season and monitored for rate of decomposition as well as percent nitrogen and percent carbon. The principal investigator, Dr. Patty Skinkis, and her graduate student, Levi Fredrickson, are measuring the total amount of biomass produced by 30 meters of alleyway, which is a treatment replicate. The biomass is being sampled for percent moisture and nutritional contents and will later be returned to the field according to treatments. By the end of this study, the researchers hope to offer the industry an informed set of guidelines on cover crop management in young vineyards, as well as a new understanding of the effects of mulch in a vineyard. If cover crops can be managed according to these experimental methods, vineyards may reduce inputs of herbicide, synthetic fertilizer, and supplemental irrigation. This can form sustainable roots in the vineyard and set the new vines in a more stable footing for the future.